Hey everyone, for this lesson we're going to be going over how to enable your in-app purchases for iOS using the cross-platform native plugin. You should already have your purchases working on Android, and so it shouldn't be too hard to get them working on iOS. To get started, we're going to go over to the tutorial documentation for the cross-platform native plugin. Once you're there, we're then going to go over to the Registering with Store tab under Billing. This will take us to this page here, where we want to focus on the Creating Products for iOS section. Here it says we need to sign into our iTunes Connect account. From here, we then want to click on My Apps, and then click on the app that we are currently working on. Once we are in the dashboard for our app, we'll then click on the Features tab up at the top. This will then load us into the In-App Purchases section, and to add a product to our game, we then need to click on the plus icon next to In-App Purchases. This will bring up this window here, where we get to specify what kind of product this is. For me, I'm going to select non-consumable because I only want the players to be able to purchase remove ads once. I'll then click on create, which will take me to this page where I need to fill out the information for this product. You'll need to fill in the name of your product, the product ID, and the price. I'm then going to skip over the content hosting section and fill in the localization section. We need to fill in the display name, and a description. I'm then also going to skip over the App Store Promotion section, as this is optional. And lastly, I'm going to fill in the Review Information section. Here we need to upload a screenshot from our game, showing as much information as we can about this product. As well, we need to put down some notes about this product. After all of this, we can then click the Save button, and from here we then need to go back to the dashboard for all our in-app purchases. Once we're here, we then need to copy the product ID for this product, and then we're gonna go back to Unity. Inside Unity, we then want to open up our cross-platform native plugin and go to the billing settings. And in here, we can increase the size of our product identifier array, and we'll need to set it to two. We then need to change the second platform to iOS, and we're gonna paste in the product ID. One word of advice is to have the same product ID as you have for Android. I found that this part of the cross-platform native plugin does not have a global identifier as it does for the leaderboards and achievements. This means that if you have a different ID for the two different platforms, then in the code wherever you reference your Android product ID, you'll need to make some additional conditions for the iOS product ID. But once you've done that, this product should be good to go. Now there may be one more thing that you have to do and that is you'll have to add this product to your build version. You do this by going into your build version on iTunes Connect, and if you see a section called In-App Purchases, you'll then need to click the plus icon and add this item that we just created. If you don't see this section, then you might have to create a new version of your game. Now once you've done this and you're ready to submit your game for review, the moderators of the App Store will then review your latest version of your game and its in-app purchases. They'll look for any bugs, copyright infringements, and violations of their application standards. If there's nothing wrong with your app or in-app purchases, then it will be approved, and you should see your game up on the App Store within a few days. But if there's something wrong, then they'll send you an email, and you'll be able to see that your game was rejected on iTunes Connect. If this is the case, then you'll have to read through their feedback, and then resubmit your game along with its in-app purchases. Now that's everything that we're going to cover in this lesson on how to enable in-app purchases for your iOS games using the cross-platform native plugin in Unity. If you like this video, then make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And finally, make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date with all our latest videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.